Hello everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to demonstrate how to safely administer an intramuscular injection in the ventrogluteal site. We'll be using Keterolic, Paracetamol, and Dexamethasone as our example medications. Remember, this video is created for educational purposes only and should only be performed by trained healthcare professionals who are authorized to do so. Always make sure you are following your institution's specific protocols and the physician's orders. First, let's gather our equipment. You're going to need the prescribed medications in this case, Keterolic, Paracetamol, and Dexamethasone. You'll also need a 3 to 5 milliliter syringe, a needle typically a 21 to 23 gauge that's 1 to 1.5 inches long, some alcohol swabs, clean gloves, a cotton ball or gauze, and very importantly, a sharp container for safe disposal. Having everything ready beforehand makes the process much smoother and safer for everyone involved. Now, let's talk about preparing a patient. This is a critical step. We must always confirm the five rights of medication administration. The right patient, the right drug, the right dose, the right route, and the right time. Double checking these details prevents errors. Once confirmed, explain the procedure clearly to the patient and make sure you obtain their consent. Position the patient comfortably, either lying on their side or on their back. Having them bend their knees slightly will help relax the muscle, making the injection more comfortable. Next up is locating the ventrogluteal site, which is one of the safest locations for an IM injection. To find it, place the heel of your hand over the patient, scrape a trochanter, that bony part on the side of the hip. Now, point your index finger toward the anterior superior iliac spine, which is the front of the hip bone. Then, spread your middle finger back along the iliac crest, creating a V-shape. The injection site is right in the center of that V you form with your fingers. This site is preferred because it's away from major nerves and blood vessels, significantly reducing the risk of injury. All right, it's time for the injection procedure. First, put on your clean gloves. Take an alcohol swab and clean the identified site using a firm circular motion, then let it air dry completely. Don't blow on it or wave your hand over it as that can reintroduce germs. Now, uncap your needle. Hold the syringe like a dart and with a quick smooth motion, insert the needle at a 90 degree angle directly into the muscle. Depending on your facility's policy, you may need to aspirate by pulling back on the plunger slightly to check for blood return. If your protocol doesn't require it, you can skip this step. Now, inject the medication slowly and steadily. A slow injection rate is more comfortable for the patient and allows the muscle to absorb the medication properly. Once all the medication is in, withdraw the needle smoothly at the same angle you inserted it. Immediately apply gentle pressure to the site with a piece of gauze or a cotton ball. We're almost done. Let's cover post-injection care. It's important not to massage the injection site as this can cause irritation or affect how the medication is absorbed. Immediately dispose the used needle and syringe into a designated sharps container to prevent needle stick injuries. After that, observe the patient for a few minutes to check for any adverse reactions, such as allergic responses or excessive bleeding. Finally, be sure to document the procedure thoroughly in the patient's chart, including the medication given, the site used, and the patient's response. And that's how you safely administer an intramuscular injection in the ventrogluteal site. I hope you found this demonstration helpful and clear. If you did, please give this video a like, subscribe to the channel for more content like this, and feel free to share it with your colleagues. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, stay safe.